found a mouse in my apartment last night. And I don't know what possessed me, but I named him Ike. Maybe it's something about, you know, knowing the enemy or something. Anyways, he was huge, and I screamed, but it was completely pointless because there's nobody there. You know, I realized that I don't have an ally. And I know this is gonna sound crazy, but Ethan, I've never felt more alone in my entire life. It was me and a broom and Big Ike. You know, I felt like Tina Turner without the great legs. So anyways, I, I seriously considered abandoning my apartment and I thought, that's crazy. I cannot let a mouse run me out of my own home. So he skidded behind the cabinet and I thought, well, you know what? If he can't see me, then he can't hurt me. And then I remember what my dad said. He said, if you know, if there's one mouse and there's gonna be dozens lurking around the corner. And I know what you're thinking, right? You're probably thinking that good old Tigger, he'll take care of it. But Ethan, you don't know that Tigger, bless his heart, is the laziest cat ever. So I thought, you know, maybe I should get another cat. Maybe I should get 10. You know, skinny cats with like lightning fast reflexes. You know, just to, just to be safe. But then I thought, I can't get multiple cats. I am 32 and single. I mean, I can't start down that slippery slope. Next thing you know, I'm gonna have 50 cats. I'm gonna have a rocking chair. I'm gonna have to take up crocheting. Ethan, please don't let me become that woman.